People are fed up with the FAG, both on the federal level and on the local level. Behind the famous Manhattan skyline, New York is a mess. You had to literally fear for your life. It was terrible. The city wasn't safe. There was a lot of crime. There was a lot of graffiti. Half a million serious crimes reported, murders, rapes, robberies, burglaries, car thefts. It was just bedlam. In the 70s, the consensus view was that schools didn't make a difference. 1.2 million people on welfare. It was a great sense that the city cannot work. It can't be governed. It can't function. It's going up in flames when crime. Kids aren't learning. The schools are crumbling. And I'm saying to myself, like, wow, how did we get here? The early 90s was an exciting period because people are fed up with the FAG, both on the federal level and on the local level. People are open-minded, they're willing to talk to each other across the aisle. There's a sense that the ungovernable city is no longer ungovernable, that reforms are possible. The city could be made safer, be made better. To take back the streets of New York, and by focusing on the small things, we disrupted bigger things from happening. And so it changed people's perception of what welfare could be, a job opportunity, not a way of life. After being stuck around 50% for 20 years, it's now about 77% kids graduate on time. We had 20 years of Giuliani and Bloomberg, and the crowning glory of what we got out of those 20 years was that the streets were no longer disorderly. The result of real efforts and real ideas by real people and it didn't just happen. And if you don't really understand that legacy, you're doomed to watch it fall apart before your very eyes. There was no palpable fear of living in any neighborhood. You could take the subway at any time of night. You could send your children to the store and it, there was no worry about what was gonna happen. By the 1990s, New York was not just a preferred destination, but it was the capital of the world again.